Hi scholars, happy Monday. I hope that you all had a nice relaxing weekend and I hope that you are having a great day today. Um, if you're watching this in the morning time, good morning to you. If you're watching in the afternoon, good afternoon. And if you're watching this in the evening time, good evening. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna learn about a new continent today. We're gonna travel to somewhere new today. But before we begin, I wanna go ahead and talk about the continents we learned about last week. Okay, so we learned about Europe, and then we learned about Asia, and then we learned about Africa, and then we went and traveled to Antarctica, right, where it was nice and cold, right? Um, so um, we traveled four continents so far, and how many continents do we have all together? Seven, right? So we have seven. So that means we have three more continents, right? Three more continents to go to. So are you ready to find out where we're going today? All right, I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna get started and we're gonna find out where we're going today, okay? All right. We are headed to South America. South America, all right? When you will get this map, go ahead and find the blue star that Mrs. G has put on there for you and point to South America. Where is South America? Did you say right here? You are correct. Good job. That is where South America is. And that's where we're going to be traveling to. Okay. All right. All right. This is just a closer up picture of South America with its countries. Okay. That we're going to be exploring a few countries today. Um, there's Argentina, Brazil, Peru, Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Paraguay, Uruguay, and Chile here. Okay. So we're going to learn about a few of those countries, not all of them, but a few of them. Okay. So some facts about South America. South America is the continent to the south of North America. Okay, it is the fourth largest continent in size and the continent has 12 countries, okay? And this is you just put a compass here, okay? It just shows north goes up, south goes down, west goes this way, and east goes this way, okay? And so it is South America because it's towards the bottom, right? It's towards the bottom. And this is North America because it's towards the top and for North, okay? And that just gives you a little bit of um, information about that, okay? The highest waterfall in the world is actually located in South America. It's located in Venezuela and it is called Angel Falls. It is 3,212 feet tall. That is really tall. And here are just some pictures that show you in different angles how big it really is and how tall it really is, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and explore a couple of countries in South America. We're gonna learn about Chile, Argentina, Uruguay, and Brazil, okay? So we're gonna start with Chile, okay? Chile is right here, so here's South America, the whole country, but Chile is right here in this highlighted green area. Okay. The official name of Chile is the Republic of Chile. Chile is the longest north-south trending country in the world. Okay. It is the, the official language in Chile is Spanish and football, which is actually soccer in Chile, is Chile's most popular sport. So if you look here, this is actually them playing football. Okay. And it looks and you're like, you're probably like, hmm, that looks like soccer. Well, in Chile, okay, soccer is called football, okay? That's why I love to learn about different countries because there's so many different awesome things that we get to learn about um, and discover. And it's really neat, all right? The Andes Mountains, the longest mountain range in the Western Hemisphere. Okay, the Andes Mountains run north, so north to south, along the entire coast of Chile. So here's Chile, remember, here's the entire coast and the Andes Mountains right here in the red. And if you can see, it goes all the way down, okay? That's the Andes, the largest mountain range in the Western Hemisphere. And it's called the Andes Mountains. And here's another picture that shows you the snow in the mountains, how big it is here. It's really pretty. Argentina and Uruguay are other countries in South America. Okay, uh, in Argentina and Uruguay, they have pampas and pampas are grassy plains with a temperate climate. And a temperate climate is just warm and sunny, but not too hot. That's what temperate climate means, okay? And the pampas begin in central and north Argentina and extend into Uruguay. 
and the eastern area of the pampas produce wheat and corn and this part okay the eastern area receives lots of rainfall okay and livestock is important in the western parts of the pampas as well and you can see the livestock animals here okay and it shows the wheat and the pampas and this is what the pampas look like okay Brazil is also another country in South America, and it is the largest country in South America. Look how big Brazil is. These are all the other countries. Look how small compared to Brazil. Brazil is huge, and that is why it's the largest one in South America. The name Brazil comes from a tree, and the tree's name is called Brazilwood. Brazilwood, so it's named after a tree. And Portuguese, the official language is spoken in Brazil, the official language is called Portuguese. And if you look here, Mrs. G wrote, Ola, scholars, and it says, hello, scholars. It also sounds like, like Spanish too, right? But I think they say Ola a little bit differently, um, the way they say it, but Mrs. G is not sure. So uh, it looks really familiar, okay? All right, the Amazon River. Brazil is home to the Amazon River, so Amazon River is located in Brazil. It is the second largest river in the world, okay? The second largest river in the world. It is 3,977 miles long. So if you look here in the purple, that's how long it is, the longest river, second longest river in the world, okay? More than half of Brazil is rainforest. The rainforest has hot and humid climates, okay? Many plants and animals thrive in the rainforest, okay? They live really well in the rainforest. Some examples of animals that might live in the rainforest, you might see the red-eyed tree frog, you might see a crocodile, a jaguar, an orangutan, and a piranha, okay? And we can't forget Mrs. G's favorite animal, which is the sloth. The sloth lives in South America, and that is Mrs. G's favorite animal. I actually know a couple of scholars that also love the sloth, okay? So I just put a cute picture there because he's just so cute, okay? All right, the umbrella bird lives in South America. Now, when you look at the umbrella bird, I want you to look at the umbrella bird, these pictures, and I want you to maybe try to figure out why it might be called an umbrella bird. Why do you think it might be called an umbrella bird? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna watch a video about why it's actually called the umbrella bird, okay? So let me see if it's going to work here. It's been a little fussy with me today, but I think it's gonna work. <laughs> Umbrella bird, umbrella bird. When it rains, I'll be fine, not get wet anytime, cause I'm an umbrella bird. Umbrella bird, oh yeah.
our umbrella bird song. So when you watch that video, why do you think it might be called the umbrella bird? Hmm, why do you think? Why was he so happy dancing in the rain while the other animals, you saw all the other animals, they were hiding under the tree. When you look at the umbrella bird, why do you think it might be called the umbrella bird? Maybe you can tell your parents, okay? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play your um, consonant song. If you want to watch it, you can go ahead and watch it. Um, I'm gonna play that in a second though. I wanna go over um, a couple of things. I have to go over your passport, right? I stamped your passport for South America. Tomorrow we visit another continent and then the next day and then we'll be done with our seven continents, okay? Before your exit ticket, okay, your assessment and your exit ticket for today, you have two questions. The first one is, you have to answer, how many countries does South America have? And Mrs. G gave you three choices to choose from. So one of them is correct. Is it A, 24 countries, B, 52 countries, or C, 12 countries? Okay, you can just write the letter on the piece of paper of which one is correct, and then um, that would be it, okay? And then question number two. What is the name of the second largest river in the world? What is the name of the second largest river in the world? Okay, all right, so go ahead and make sure you take a picture and send uh, your work to your teacher. And then I will go ahead and play your consonant song. Again, if you want to listen to it, you may. If you don't, you can go ahead and shut the video off and I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow.